Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, I want to do a tier list going over the Asian nations for the uh, for the World Cup qualifiers. So the war, uh, the draw taking place on Thursday. I figured it's now a good time to do this. So we're going to go ahead and look at the 18 teams, give you guys my thoughts. So basically, I'm going to explain how the format works. So feel free to skip this part if you don't care and you, don't, you already know this. I'm going to explain to the people that aren't aware. So basically, the 18 nations that advance in the second round Group winners, group winners up are now divided into six pots. Three nations per pot, and then each there will be three groups of six, and then basically each nation will play home and away against each other, and the top two from each group will advance to the World Cup. So therefore you have six, and then the fourth round, the teams that finish third and fourth will go to the fourth round, and from the fourth round, only one nation will qualify from those two groups. And then the la and then those fit the second place nations will battle it out for the inter confederation playoffs. And this and the fourth round, by the way, it is one game. It is one game, by the way. So that's how it works. Um, I hope you guys did understand that. This is the 18 nations, by the way, for your information. And we're gonna be ranking them in alphabetical order, guys, about their chances. So I got the tier set up right here, guys. We got qualify, maybe qualify, playoffs, maybe playoffs, and vibes. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the first uh country we got here is Australia. I don't even think I have to really explain this one, guys. I think Australia, without a doubt, should be qualifying. They have too much quality. And, yeah, I don't even think I have to explain this. The number of players they have is ridiculous. Next up, it is Bahrain. Now, Bahrain's an interesting one, guys. Because, for, for me personally, Bahrain's always been a nation that's been tough. They always give it a good go against the big nations. Typically lose. And they do beat the nations they're expected to beat. And my thing for Bahrain is that they're very good. They're defensively good. But they don't offer much going forward. And that's my big issue with Bahrain is that at a league kind of style, I can see them getting many draws. But I don't think that's going to be enough because you need to win those games, especially at home. You know, I think their home form will be key because away form, I don't have much hopes for them. So Bahrain, I'm going to say I think they'll cause some issues and I think they'll 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 cause issues for the big teams and, you know, get some surprises. But. I think Bahrain for me is declining. I think they're under the. I think they're declining now. I don't think this is the same as it used to be. So I'm gonna put Bahrain and maybe playoffs. I was thinking about putting playoffs, but I'm more edging towards maybe playoffs because I just don't think they have enough goals. That's the big problem. Next up is China. I'm gonna put China into maybe playoffs. Uh, and this is me being respectful because honestly, I probably would have put China in vibes. Uh, but I feel like as bad as China are, they still have Wooly. Wooly is still an incredible player. And he is still one of their most important players. Because let's be real, guys. China's been on the, the decline for a long time now. This nation has been so struggling in the last couple of years. And they really need Wu Li to fire. Because if Wu Li doesn't fire, oh, man, it, it's really, really tough for China uh, for that one. And the next up is Indonesia. Indonesia has been the rise, guys. I have really been impressed with Indonesia. I think they have been so amazing. The football they've been playing, the quality they have has been incredible. And I think Indonesia is definitely on the rise. Now... How much can they do for the next World Cup remains to be seen. I'm going to put Indonesia. Now, this might come as a... Maybe I'm over overestimating them, but I'm putting Indonesia in playoffs. I think they're good enough to make the playoffs, and I think they'll push it all the way. I don't think they have enough to qualify for the World Cup. I think that's a bridge too far, but I do think they are on the rise, and I have been very impressed with them. So I think they're going to go into playoffs. Next up it is Iran. Iran, for me, they have too much quality. They have too much quality. Iran should be qualified. Although, I will say this, though. Iran needs to get some usher in some younger players because I feel like that's going to hurt them. Not necessarily for the qualifier of the World Cup, but the World Cup itself. Like, when they actually are in the World Cup and, you know, the Asian Cups, that kind of stuff. But, yeah. Next up is Iraq. Iraq, for me, they're the qualifier. I have been very impressed with Iraq. I think they've been one of the most informed nations in Asia. And just, I mean, just look what they did in the Asian Cup for quite a lot. They topped a group with Japan in it. And I know they went out the round of 16. It was a bit of a disappointment. Obviously, it was a very controversial game against Jordan. But I feel like, for me, Iraq is definitely in qualified for sure. And Japan, <laughs> I don't even think it's, I don't even think I have to explain this. Japan is definitely qualified for sure. Next up is Jordan. Now, Jordan is interesting, guys. Jordan is interesting. Because I I saw the news recently that their manager, Amen, the Moroccan manager that guided them through the Asian Cup final, is now going to resign. And that's a huge downgrade. Now, I've been hearing that they're going to get this new Moroccan coach in. And for me, I'm not so sure this is a good idea for Jordan, especially knowing that they're in the third round draw and everything like that. And so it's going to be interesting, guys. Can Jordan actually do it, guys? Can they do it? 
Uh, it's tricky, man. It's tricky. It's tricky. I'm going to put and maybe qualify. I think they have what it takes, but I'm not so sure. I, I, I Because I think for Jordan, the issue for me is that I don't know how much the new coach will – will that destabilize the team? Because that's why I'm fearing is that if you had asked me a few weeks ago, I would probably put them in qualify. Probably put them at the lowest – I'll probably put them in the qualify. But because of this news, I have to put them in maybe uh, maybe qualify. I think they have a good chance to do it, but I am not so sure. Next up is Kuwait. I'm sorry to say Kuwait is going at vibes. I was not impressed with Kuwait. They were very, very poor. And in my opinion, they were one of the worst nations to qualify from the second round. And they hardly scored many goals. And congrats to them. They did the double over Afghanistan, which is the reason why they're pretty much here. But yeah, I, I don't see much for them. And next up is Kyrgyzstan. I'm sorry to say they're also going to vibes. I don't see Kyrgyzstan doing much. I feel like they're just the squad is too old, and I feel like they. I feel like they're just. I feel like they were just are mid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all my Kyrgyzstan people. I know I might get a lot of dislikes for saying that, but I I just don't really rate them that highly. Now next up is North Korea. Now North Korea is interesting, guys. North Korea is interesting because I feel like North Korea can actually do something here, guys. Especially how good they are defensively and how difficult they are and. Everything like that, and especially their home form as well. I think North Korea can go into maybe playoffs, but I don't see them doing more than maybe playoffs. Maybe playoffs is just the max. I can see it. Next is Oman. Kind of what I said with Bahrain. Oman's kind of the same thing, except that I feel like Oman, I feel like Bahrain's attack is slightly better. So for Oman, as I said, maybe I'll put them maybe playoffs, potentially, potentially. Maybe vibes as well. I feel like vibes is really harsh, though. So I'm not going to put them vibes. I'll put them in maybe playoffs, but. You could potentially put them in vibes. Uh, next up, it is uh, Palestine. Now, Palestine, for me, I think they are a good quality nation. Um, but the issue for me for Palestine is they just don't have enough goals. They don't have enough goals because defensively, they're very solid, but they don't offer much going forward. And that's my big issue. So for Palestine in particular, I'm going to say they're going to go into maybe playoffs. I'll put them in maybe playoffs. I'll put them above Bahrain because I think their defense is better than Bahrain. But I'm kind of on a so with that. Qatar. Now, Qatar is an interesting one, guys, because Qatar, for me, we know the quality Qatar have. But my issue with Qatar is that we are yet to see if Qatar is really that good of a nation because we've seen how good they are in tournament football. Tournament football, they've been amazing. But we're yet to see how good this nation is in league football. And league football is very different to um, a tournament football. So for Qatar, I'm going to say that I'm going to put them in qualify because they have too much quality, but it wouldn't surprise me if they don't qualify. So I'm kind of like a bit unsure, but I'm going to put them in uh, qualify for now. I'm going to put them qualify for now. And let me actually rearrange how I feel. So I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to do it like this way. So this is like, I'm more confident with that one. Next up is Saudi Arabia. Now Saudi Arabia is an interesting one, guys, because I think Saudi Arabia is going through uh, somewhat of a decline because I just feel like Saudi is just going down. I, I really think they are, but they still have too much quality with Mancini as a coach. So I still expect Saudi to do it, um, but it, it, I'm not as confident as I was before in the past. So I'm going to put Saudi, I'll probably put them above uh, Qatar, but yeah. And the South Korea, yeah, I think they 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 got this. Uh, so sorry, I, I meant to click this. Uh, South Korea is definitely going to go under qualify for sure. I mean, it, it would be a it, it would be a it would be it would be a crisis if they don't qualify. Next up is UAE. Now, UAE is an interesting one, guys. UAE is a very interesting one here, guys. Does UAE make the World Cup? For me, I feel like for UAE, I think they're still a good nation. I think they still have enough quality. But I feel like their their squad is going too old. That's a big issue. And I'm just not really sure with UAE. I'm a bit uncertain. So I'm going to put playoffs for now because I feel like they're still a good quality nation. They're still among the best but I'm going to put them into playoffs, just the tier below, maybe qualify. And then next up, it is Uzbekistan. Guys, I rate Uzbekistan very highly. But the issue for Uzbekistan is that they always get the job done against inferior teams, but they never seem to get the job done against top nations. So that's kind of my issue there. But we did see that Uzbekistan did manage to get two draws against Iran. So maybe they're starting to, um, maybe they're starting to finally um, start getting results now. But for Uzbekistan, ah, this is difficult. Do I pick them or Jordan to qualify? I'm going to put Uzbekistan. I think Uzbekistan, I'll put them to qualify. But am I confident with that pick? Not really, but 
I feel like they're going to do it. I think they're going to make the first ever World Cup appearance. So there you guys go, guys. This is my tier list for the 18 nations of Asia, guys. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. And yeah, man, like I said, guys, let me know your disagreements. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys. If you guys want to do this tier list, that, that it'll be great. And share with me your disagreements, guys. It's just for fun. As I said, guys, it's just my opinion. I try to be as objective as I possibly could. So yeah. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Please run a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.